What's up you guys? Joker back. Today I'm actually filming, uh, recording a voiceover because unfortunately the footage was severely corrupted by some bad wind uh, on the microphone when we filmed this. So therefore I have to make a voiceover to this video. Hopefully it will still be an interesting view to, for you to watch and this is the first time I'm doing something like this so bear in mind I'll do my best but hopefully nevertheless you'll still enjoy the content. So, with that said, let's get right into it. Alright you guys, so we're taking a look at the Wartech TV113 Recruit Chest Rig. So, we're gonna take a look at the functions of it, what it looks like, and we'll start with the straps on the shoulders. You'll see it's a very simplistic design. We have molly spacing, uh, about three rows on each side which is perfect for attaching a carabiner hook, monophone microphone or maybe some kind of sling or hydration sling uh, if you use maybe for example a camel bag. So it's identical on both sides and you also see that it has buckles which will go into further depth with the adapters later on in the video. Moving to the middle of the pouches you'll see that it's a typical old school Chicam rig design with three cells for magazines. They have velcro flaps which you can tuck over the magazines or you can also tuck them behind the magazines and make sure that they sit securely with the elastic cord. So if we're taking a look at the left and right side of this chest rig you'll see that there are two large general purpose pouches which both have velcro spacing on the outside of the pouches which is perfect if you want to add maybe a medical symbol and designate it as a first aid pouch. You also have a small flap for making it easy to tear up and open the pouch. I've filled it with some bandanas and various items to show you that it's quite spacious and roomy. And they also have, as the magazine pouches, elastic cords to tie them so things don't fall out. They are identical in size and design on both sides. Also in the middle behind the vest or chest rig itself is a small admin pouch which is perfect for storing for example maps, documents, various other smaller items which won't press too hard against your chest. If we're taking a look at the back side of the chest rig you'll see that it's a typical uh, X pattern design which is found on most almost common chest rigs. The quality of the vest is very impressive. I think that the Cordura uh, and the material feels very reliable. I also enjoy the fade and the tint of the OD color which this chest rig is featured in. And it looks very nice especially in combination with for example as you can see multicam camouflage pattern. So now with that out of the way and the chest rig itself gone through a little bit, we're gonna take a look at the TV112 adapter system which Wartek also supplies which makes you be able to clip this chest rig on to a modular system, for example uh, a plate carrier which I will be showing in the next segment. So we're gonna check that out. Okay, so we're taking a look at the Wartek TV 102 plate carrier in combination with the adapter systems. So you'll see at the top part of the plate carrier, I have the buckle uh, buckles attached through the upper parts of the molly webbing, uh, which is where the center clips of the chest rig will attach. And uh, if we take a look at both the left and right side of the molly webbing on the vest, you'll see that they have been threaded with the adapters through the molly webbing. And this is where you'll uh, clip on the other parts of the chest rig when you remove the straps from the chest rig. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take a look at how the whole system looks in combination with the chest rig attached through the adapter clips. So let's take a look at that. Okay guys, so we're taking a look here and what we are doing right now is we're clipping on the chest rig to the upper clips. So basically what we have done is we have added the chest rig to a combination with the plate carrier. So if you're playing some kind of milsim game where you need 
uh, various additions of armor to stay alive or for the rules. This is a perfect combination. So you can modify it and you'll also see that the straps on the side is where you can tighten so it doesn't bump around while you're running around with the plate carrier too much. So of course this is for your own preference. If you want it loosely sit or tightly, it's up to you. But it's very easy to modify and uh, pull the tighter. I think it's a very good idea because it gives you a various um, combination of how you want to set up your system. For example, if you have a plate carrier but don't prefer to wear it all the time, for example in a Milsim game, this is perfect if you want to do some Riki or uh, scouting missions beforehand with the chest rig. And then if you want to go into battle and have extra uh, protection, this is excellent. So we're taking a look at the whole system itself in combination with some other pouches. So also worth noting is that the clips are available in, from what I understand, two variations of colors, which is both uh, coyote brown or tan or olive, drab, OD, green, whatever you want to call it. But the Recruit chest rig itself is available in various camouflages such as multicam, black, OD and other colors that you'll be able to see on Vortex own webpage. So I also want to make sure to give a big thanks to Vortex for sponsoring me with this gear. I'll make sure to link their pages and social medias and of course their web store down in the description of the video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment and all that classical YouTube stuff. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you enjoyed this voiceover. It was a little bit new for me to record, but hopefully it was successful enough for you to enjoy the video. Until next time, Joker out.